five. And then it connects again, so it'll be a second. Okay. So see what I see right now is our Zoom and we are actually live. So we don't see the, the Facebook page or anything. So anyways, Wednesday at four, here I am, Nancy Yoner from the heart of my home and uh, always so excited to come and see everyone on Wednesday. Uh, oh, good. I, I hear we are definitely on, which is good. Um, anyways, this is so exciting. Uh, I usually thank the, my guest from last week, but my last week guest was myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I made this uh, uh, power breakfast. Um, I showed people how to put together this power breakfast. So I'll be really interested if anyone pops on or listens to the replay, if anyone has tried it, because it's so delicious. And uh, anyhow, so I am here today with the owner of the company called Culture Fuel Group, and the owner is Heather Nunley. So Heather, thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Nancy. It's an honor to be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, hey, um, hey, Melissa. Uh, so I am so delighted. You know, I I have had personal experience in working with you. You are a um, professional business consultant, culture consultant. You're excellent with team development and helping leaders uh, be really mm -hmm. great leaders. And uh, so you're in that people development, you know, career field, if you will. And I personally have had the opportunity to work with you on several occasions. And we're going to talk a little bit more about all that you offer and uh, what your company is about and but one of the things, Heather, that I really like to delve into at first is, you know, rather than just come on and say, hey, this is what I do and this is what I'm looking for and all that, it's really more about the heart, of, from the heart of the home is like a little bit more deeper than that, right? It's like, you started this company in 2013 and it, so you had done quite a bit before that time in your career and in your life. So how did this all evolve for you to become this amazing professional business coach life coach person that you are so where did how did it start like what happened what was the impetus well um let me think how far do i want to go back here <laughs> <laughs> so as as you mentioned my career path has always been in the realm of people development um, so uh, my, my background in the corporate world uh, prior to owning my own coaching and consulting practice was that I was a human resources director and I actually, I had an amazing career. Um, I work with uh, Fortune 500 brands. I work with Nordstrom, moved around the country with them. I uh, was in Maryland to Minnesota to Ohio. So did some relocating and traveling over the years. And then I spent a few years working with Marriott, so retail and hospitality. Um, and I also did a short stint working with Ethan Allen as well. So that those have been the, the brands that I've worked for um, over the years. And my role has always been, like I said, in the realm of people development, uh, human resources. Um, I was fast tracked in my career uh, over the years and had the opportunity to work with some really strong experienced leaders who have kind of brought me along along the way. And I got to a point where I had some personal family matters arise. Um, at this point, it's probably been about 10 years or so ago, but um, had some, it was involving uh, one of my children, some health matters, and I opted out of my career. Um, it was a sad time for me uh, during that time because I felt very conflicted internally. I wanted to maintain this awesome career that I had, but I also wanted to have my family, which is one of my top values, family and you know, quality time with family that was really tugging at me as well. Bottom line is I opted out 
And I was able to do so because we owned a family business at the time. Um, my husband led and I was able to start working with him. Our skill sets uh, tended to complement one another. We're like complete opposites as it relates to how we lead and work. So it worked well, that partnership for a period of time. But quite honestly, I began to feel like something was missing for me after just a couple of short years. Um, during that time period, I was working with the business. I did a lot of networking here locally in Loudoun County. I we remember, because I think that's where I first met you, was, was through that. You did some workshops, and I really loved that. And um, I wanted to let you know our friend Jill is, is watching, too. So. <laughs> oh, hi, Jill. So glad you're here with us. <laughs> so go ahead. So uh, with that said, yeah, I started doing some workshops here locally in the area and met lots of people, but um, really wasn't fulfilled. So what I decided at the time was that I needed to figure out a way to get back aligned on the career path that I was on. However, I had a taste of entrepreneurship and I wasn't necessarily willing to give up the freedom. Right. So, so that's so interesting, right? Because you, you had all this corporate background, if you will. I mean, for like 22 years and you, it, it's something that you loved. Right. And then you made this very personal decision, which was, which, which was really heart, you know, felt decision, right. A lifestyle change that you made for very important reasons. And then I know you're going to talk about how you ended up getting into coaching. I just wanted to say though, right there, that I think that that is one of the reasons why you are so amazing at what you do is because you have experienced such a transition and um you know in uh, small business owners big business owners everyone has all these different challenges that they're they're facing but transitioning from one career to another is is a big deal and i'm sure you can really help a lot of those type of people yeah yeah and thank you for that um yeah it was it was a challenging choice at the time like i said i uh determined that, you know, I kind of like the feel of this entrepreneurship thing and the freedom that it was giving me in my lifestyle. So I opted to go and become certified to be a coach, which um, as I went through that training, I, I it was a, a very intensive program. And I went through the training and all along, I'm thinking, this is the same stuff that I was doing when I was in corporate. I just didn't know that these were actual tools and that they were trained as in this coaching type of a way. So it was interesting because um, it, I really felt like things really kind of came to life for me through that period. And once I became certified to become a coach, a lot of the networking that I had done previously, I had business owners who, you know, work with me and said, you know what, let's do it. I want to, you know, I want to work with you in this new um, role that you're playing as a coach. And it was easy for me to get clients early on with that. And I started working with um, entrepreneurial leaders doing coaching and I've been doing it ever since. Right. I know. And you've been working, you know, primarily by referral because it, I know for me, uh, I know other people may be popping on, feel the same way that um, that have worked with you, that it's such a positive experience that you just want to share it and you want to let, let other people know about you and your skill set because you are so knowledgeable and you are so good about pinpointing, asking questions, pulling out nuggets, kind of giving feedback and really helping people figure out maybe how they can move forward on, on, you know, especially if you're stuck with something or having an obstacle, um, you just, you're so talented. You're such a good listener. You're such a good listener and you provide such good feedback and guidance and assistance. And I mean, you, you, there's so much that you do. I mean, I took double back. I took so many notes yesterday. I, there's no way we could cover it all. Um, but so tell me a little bit then about kind of what you're, what your kind of your niche or your specialty or you know your maybe your top three areas that you really focus on i know you do some team development which is a really big important aspect of your business right yes yes so the the three areas that i focus on are related to organizational um like structuring as well as leadership development and team development so mm -hmm. I focus on those three areas, depending upon who it is that uh, that I'm working with. Um, 
oftentimes when I'm working with a leader, um, we may be looking at positioning, you know, as it relates to, you know, I do, I, I, you know, as I reflect on many clients that I've had, I've worked with several people that went through periods of transition during their work with me. So, you know, when we're looking at, um, you know, coming from one space and going to a different space, the thought is, you know, it seems impossible, you know, to go in, in another direction. And oftentimes we're able to look back and see that, you know, you're not necessarily going in a different direction. It's just a layering on of just what's next based on whatever that skill set and experience is. So um, well, I, I think that's really interesting because what I hear you saying is that you kind of help people get to the possible instead of thinking it's impossible. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, and, and the way that we go about that is um, considering what is it that I need to think, feel, and do in order to get to that new space. And there's a lot of work there because, you know, we're, uh, you know, when, when I think about like a, a goal for myself that I've got projected out into the future, um, I've got to become that person in order to achieve that higher level goal that's out there. So I've got to start doing the work right now. You know, how does this person think today? What right. is it that I'll be doing? So there's changes in my lifestyle today that would need to be made. And then the lives of the clients that I work with, that I help them to see what's possible, even when it hasn't yet been achieved. Right. And I think there's there's so much when your business go, goes better, it's usually and, and things get really rocking and rolling and you're at, at this kind of momentum. I think it's because you people kind of do the hard work. Right. And then then that's kind of the reward. Right. Is is, you know, growth. You have a lot of growth right through all of this, I'm sure. You help yeah, and I, I, I love that you use the word the hard work because um, those are the type of people that quite honestly, Nancy, I love to work with those that are willing to actually raise their hand with a willingness to say, okay, I want to do the work. And most typically, these are people that have already had, you know, a large degree of success in their lives. Um, right. So, you know, when we're, when we're successful, sometimes, you know, we think it's not sustainable to continue on with that success. So there comes, like you said, some work, some priming and a lot of the work that I do with clients. Yeah. It's we're always looking at what is bottom line impact because, you know, I work with business owners um, and we are looking to get a result at the end of the day, but right. There's that mind management piece that is really what can sometimes um, either get in the way or help support us, you know, making the necessary progress. Oh, sure. I totally get all of what you're saying. And like I said, from personal experience, I, I totally recommend Heather and um, she's just been instrumental in helping me. And the other thing I wanted to make sure we mentioned Heather before we kind of do some wrapping up is uh, that you, you do individual coaching yes. like personal one-on-one -on -one, and you also do group coaching and again I've been I've been involved in both um and that group coaching is really interesting I never I personally would have never thought that I would like group coaching I've had coaching way before I met you um I had a coach for almost 10 years and um I never thought, oh, I'd like group coaching. I love it. It's so intimate and it's such a great opportunity to really um, discuss with these other people, business owners, that, and you see we're all kind of facing similar challenges and it, we can be such a support. And the way you guide us through those coaching sessions has just been really, really great. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, I love that that you feel what that is like, and that then that you feel like it's a positive experience for you in that way. Um, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And, and here's the thing: we, we, we can't see ourselves. I think that's the, the purpose of this coaching uh, space is that you know you see athletes and you see entertainers, people like that that hire coaches um, in order for them to be better and. It, it is a skill to help to get someone, you know, to that next place and out of their head, but to put them in a group environment 
where you've got all these mirrors up for you. <laughs> we can't see ourselves, you know, and, you know, not only me as the coach kind of facilitating an environment like that, you've got the support of others that are in different industries. So there's cross industry experience there. Right. There's shared challenges. There's ideas that maybe you wouldn't even necessarily think about for your industry, but there's the opportunity to, um, kind of diversify your thought around how you do what you do in your business. Right, right. Well, uh, I just think it, the group coaching has been phenomenal. Um, and I know that uh, we're going to be putting up your, your bio on, on our page here. And I wanted to let people know that, um, again, uh, Heather has a website. It's Culture Fuel Group. And um, she's also on Facebook and LinkedIn, Heather Nunley. And um, I guess, you know, in terms of, is there anything else that you would like to, to share with everyone? I am going to mention that you, you have been so kind to, to provide an offer for our audience, but anything else that you would like to say um, before we, we provide the offer? Um, I guess I would just conclude for anyone listening, listening in to answer the question for themselves, how audacious am I willing to be as I lead my life and my business? Oh, I love that. How audacious, oh my gosh, am I willing to be uh, that for, for my business? Yeah, with it, for to lead my life and my business. Yeah, to lead my yeah. life and my business. Well, that's a good question. I, I can't wait to hear if anyone answers it on the live. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Minnie. Um, hi, Vicki. So, uh, and I know if you watch the replay, please let us know. Um, I, I love that question. Thank you for posing it. That, that is great. So for, for everyone who's watching today or watch the replay, Heather is so kind to offer two options. I'm going to read it a little bit. So um, there... For anyone who would like to hear more, for anyone listening to the live recording today or replay who may be interested in learning more about working with a coach, Heather would be happy to share with you an audio recorded titled, Why Would I Hire a Coach? And she, she's asked that we email her and we'll put her email in, in down below, or you can email me and I can forward it to Heather as well. And then um, the other thing is um, someone who is so someone who may be facing a challenge, a transition, or their next big project and would like to experience a complimentary deep coaching conversation, Heather will block out time for a powerful experience. That is awesome. I actually know somebody that who, who you have not worked with before is not a current client because I, I know it would be anyone that's, you know, not currently working with you, obviously, they already get your knowledge. So um, I have someone to refer you. I actually just, it came to me. So that's, that's, oh, that's great. I'd love to meet them. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for offering that. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, I know that we have, this is our last month of our, of our coaching, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, yep. it's gonna, I know it's almost to an end. <laughs> well, we'll have to do something in the new year. I am sure. Yeah. Um, and that, that reminds me, Heather, I know that you mentioned those three components, organization, leadership, and team development. I know you're really working hard on and finishing up this new program that you're going to be offering in the first quarter. I'm not exactly sure when it's gonna land, but I wanna let you know, I would love to have you come back and uh, tell us about that as, as soon as you can so that we can offer it to anybody um, here that might be interested. I'm excited to hear more. So I hope that you will come back and join us. Absolutely, I would love to. I'm super excited about what's to come. So for sure. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to let you guys know what's going on next week. Uh, I am doing a tablescape. So for those of you who are interested in different decorating for your, your table uh, for the holidays, so we're doing that. And uh, again, grateful to have you here today, Heather. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for having me, Nancy. This was a blast. Uh, you are so welcome. And in the meantime, um, thumbs up, lots of love, and keep smiling. Okay? All right. Bye, Nancy. Take care, everyone. See you, Heather.